Good morning. It is Wednesday, July 6th. Currently in Astoria, Queens. Heading to the subway to get back to Grand Central so we can get a uh, train up to the Beacon Station and right from there and from there get a ride from my friend Sprout. Hey, thank you, Sprout. Thank you, Sprout. Back to the trail in Fonnenstock State Park. Back to life. Back to pack backpacker life. Had a great time in New York. Tanya's poison ivy is healing up. I uh, got to see the 4th of July fireworks, which was fun, but crowds don't like boo crowds but oh, that's what happens no no um so yeah it was a good time here what do we have like three days yeah. three and a half something yeah, like that yep yep yes so it was fun but time to get back on trail. Yep, and get this thing going. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's crazy, we're almost yeah. two thirds. Almost two thirds of the way. So excited to get back out, get some more. Excited might be stretching a little bit. Excited might be stretching <laughs> a little bit. We are eager to get back out. It's easy to get sucked back into the vortex of it, it's more about normal life. life. Like I don't, I'm not looking forward to sweating and bugs again. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Sweating and bugs, all part of it, but something not to be enjoyed. All right. Well, we are back on trail, back at Canopus, not Canopus. I learned that I was saying it incorrectly, so it's Canopus Lake. So, yeah, back here and uh, much cooler today. I'm not saying it's cool, but it's much cooler than the last time we were here. And, yep, getting back on trail, hitting the Blue Blades. That's a .5 off trail. And uh, to get us back... To the AT, I'm probably going to do about, oh, I think maybe eight, nine miles um, till we get to the stealth spot where we're going to camp tonight. Just getting so. back on to the Blue Trail, and this big black snake is here to greet me to say, Welcome, welcome. He's a big guy, probably about four feet long. PH shelter. It used to be a really cool shelter because it was all enclosed. Still is a cool shelter, but now they've opened up the back end of it. Not sure why they did that. But I will show you the inside and see what you think. Alright. Very nice. A lot of bunks here. Even better, water cache, yeah. with fresh water, and oh my gosh, what is that? What? Someone fell through the roof and they're still there. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, July 7th. Beautiful morning, sun is shining. It's nice and cool, which is always good. 
Uh, hopefully not going to be too warm today. And uh, yeah, going to go another 16, 17 miles today to the polling area and uh, camp there. Uh, shout out again to my friend Sprout, who got us from the train station at Beacon back to Fonnensock State Park, where we got back on trail. Sprout, thank you, thank you so much, and it was so good to see you again. to the north side of Interstate 84. Came up to Old Route 55 here near Pauling, and we got trail magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the best thing ever, and yes. this is a first. For yeah. Yeah. We have homegrown tomatoes. Look at that. On sandwiches. Bread. I and am this, so excited. <laughs> this is an heirloom tomato. This is uh, this is beautiful stuff there. <laughs> so man, this is exciting. We got. Um, what is that? Turkey, yep. bread, tomatoes, lettuce. And homemade bread, right? Homemade bread. Homemade, homemade bread. Oh my gosh. Look at this artisan bread. It's amazing. And this is, you said Papa Switch, right? Papa Switch. Yeah. And his son is Switch, who is hiking the Appalachian Trail. This, this is his right. son, Switch. Hi. <laughs> All right. Your dad is the best here. No, you're good. Okay, that was seriously some good trail match. That was some of the best trail match I've Yes. Ever really Man, that was really good. Besides the stuff I mentioned earlier, uh, homemade chocolate chip cookies, homemade salsa and chips. Oh man, that was uh that was some of the best sauce I've ever had. It's yeah. great. Yeah. up to the Dover Oak near Pauling, New York, which is the largest oak tree on the entire Appalachian Trail. And here it is, the Dover Oak. Sure is one big oak tree. Comes clear out across the road Up, over. Look how big that sucker is. <laughs> I'm zooming in on you. Wait, wait, wait. There, I'm zooming in on you. All right, I'm zooming back out. That is big. That's one big tree. That is one big tree. Friday, July 8th, and this is my last day in New York, crossing over into Connecticut today, which is really exciting. Um, yeah, we camped last night, finished the day uh, just a little bit south of Pauling, by about a mile or two, and that's it. Uh, slept pretty well. Kept dreaming about a bear coming into camp. 
and uh, being next to my tent. I don't know why I was dreaming that, but I was. Uh, thankfully, it was just a dream. Uh, should be a good day. Like I said, we cross into Connecticut. Uh, we get into uh, Bulls Bridge. Going to have some a late lunch there. I like Bulls Bridge. I've been there before. Has a nice cover bridge there. It's just a little side trail to a little deli where we can have the have some lunch and uh, get our water refilled there as well. That's Tanya and Zobie up there. Don't know how they do it, but they always beat me out of camp no matter what time I get up. Nine times out of 10 anyway, but I'm a little bit faster hiker, so I catch up. All right, at the Pauline Appalachian Trail. Stop for the Metro North. Good morning, cows. You gonna let me walk through there? Uh, All right, guys. You keep coming up here like I'm gonna feed you. Like I got something for you, I don't. I just have to walk through my trail, all right? Thank you, thank you. Have a good day. This is the third one of these I've had to climb over this morning to get to the other side of the fence, to the other side of the field. We are almost out of New York into Connecticut. Connecticut! Yeah, just up this road a little bit and to the left, and we are there. And here it is. Woohoo! Welcome to Connecticut, state number 10, gateway to New England. Yeah, baby. Another state down. Bam. There it is. Are you excited? Yes. Me too. How about you? Zoe's like, whatever. These state lines. Whatever. 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 I'm just thirsty. River run through the trees. Carve the path that you please. Where do your waters lead? I Right by the Housatonic, really beautiful right here. How's everybody? What is that? Mr. Bender, man. I haven't seen you in a while. In a while, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh I never goodness. know where anyone is. Like right. Here, huh? Yeah. Well, that was a long stop there. But a good one. Fun one. Uh, a and W root beer, Diet Coke, Gatorade slushy. Got had spaghetti and chicken for lunch. Heat it up in a microwave. Uh, two Dove bars. Really good. Spent a couple hours there. Took a nap. Got some water. It was a good, uh, good break. Really good break. Now we have a long climb. Kind of a long uphill climb up to 
where our campsite's gonna be tonight. About a thousand foot climb, I think it is. Something like that. Well, I realized, sweating my butt off, coming up this hill, that we missed the two thirds mark sign, if there was one there. So that was at mile 1462. We're at about mile 1465, going on mile 1466. And uh, yeah, so we missed it, but hey, happy we are now more than two thirds of the way to Katahdin, have less than a third left. Yep. Guess what we missed? What? The two thirds sign. We are, it was a 1462 back there yes. by a 10 mile river. Oh, and I thought about it while we were at lunch too. Yep. Oh, shoot. We missed it. Oh. Well, well we're you can celebrate now. that we Woo! are two thirds of the way. I'm too freaking tired to celebrate yeah. appropriately right now. More than two thirds of the way. Let me catch my breath and get a drink. <laughs> All right. So I just saw a sign back behind me that they relocated this section of the AT. Um, man, it had some really nice views. I hope the relocation doesn't take away the nice views. So far, the relocations that they've done this year have added nice views. So at the stream right before the campsites, fighting off the mosquitoes and bugs. I don't know who decides these trail relocations, uh, when, where, why. But this one, I was not happy with. Uh, I believe it added some distance. It added some elevation. It's a little bit of an easier walk, but it cut off a lot of nice views on this ridge that was really rocky and had just uh, some really nice ridge views on it. So I don't know why they did it, but I'm going to find out. I'm going to research it. Uh, but really not happy that they took away all those views. In the meantime, while I'm here, going to collect water from the stream uh, that I need for tonight and tomorrow morning. Twisting out of sight.